Good morning, Nishi. Good morning, class. I'm Miss Ian. Today, I'll be showing you guys another Math Olympiad questions. So here's the questions. We have to find the one digits in this uh, sum. As you can see in these calculations, it involves a very big sum that we can't even obtain from a calculator. But the key of this question is we only need to find the one digit in this sum. So instead of finding the value of each of these numbers, what we need to do is we find the one digit, the one digit of each of these number, and the sum of one digit of each of these number will give us the one digit of this big sum. And if you look at the first number, which is 1 to the power of 18, and as you guys know that 1 to the power of any number is always 1, because 1, no matter how many times you multiply, is always 1. So we know that for the first number, the value is 1. And as for the second number, which is 2 to the power of 2019, this is a very big sum and we are not going to find the, I mean, the value of this number. What we need to find is the, only the one digit of this number. So in order to find the one digit, I will need to show you the list of the power number, power of 2. Okay, let me show you this. Um, I think everybody should know that um, 2 to the power of 1, is 2, 2 to the power of 2, uh, which is 2 times 2, is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, 2 to the power of 7 is 128, 2 to the power of 8 is um, 256. And if you look at the one digit of all this power number, we can see that this one digit, it repeats for every four power number. I mean, it repeats as 2486, 2486. And this is actually true for all the rest of the number. Let me tell you why. Okay, as you can see from, let's start with 2 to the power of 5. If you look at 2 to the power of 5, this 1 digit, which is 2, it actually depends on the 1 digit of the previous number, which is 2 to the power of 4. And we know that we can find 2 to the power of 5 by using 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2. So since we know that 6 times 2 is 12, so we know that 2 to the power of 5 must end, uh, is a number that ends with 2, since we know 6 times 2 is 12. And this goes on to the next number. For example, if you look at 2 to the power of 6, which can be obtained by using 2 to the power of 5, which is 32 times 2. And this one digit, one digit in 2 to the power of 6, which is 4, it's actually obtained from using the one digit of the previous number to multiply by two. That's how we get four. And this goes on to the next number, which is two to the power seven. And you can see that um, one digit in two to the power seven, which is eight, is actually obtained from using the previous one digit, which is four, multiply by two. As we know, four times two is eight. And the same goes to the last power number I, read on, I wrote on the screen, which is 2 to the power of 8. It ends with 6. The one digit is 6 because the previous one digit is 8. And we know that 8 times 2 is 16. That's how this number ends with 6. So we know that this pattern it is true for all the rest of the number. Because if I continue to write 2 to the power of 9, I will know that it must be a number that ends with 2 because I know that 6 times 2 is 12. So I know that 2 to the power 9 is a number and with 2. And the rest of the calculations will repeat the previous calculation that I show you. So this one digit will repeat 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6 again. So as in the question, the previous questions I show you guys, we need to find 2 to the power of 2019. We need to find this number 2 to the power of 2019, the one digit of this number. So what I will do is I will use 2019 divided by 4, divided by a group of 4. 
So we have four, 4 times 5, 20. So based on these divisions, we can see that there are 504 groups of such power numbers, which means before 2 to the power of 2019, there are 504 groups of such number, which means 2 to the power of 2019, 4, four in 505 groups. So if I continue with this, so you can see that the previous group is, this is 504th group, and 2, thou, 2 to the power of 2019, 4 in, 4, uh, 405th group. And if you look at the remainder, there are 3, which means there are such 3 power numbers, 4 in, 505th groups. So these 3 power numbers are 2 to the power of 2017, 2 to the power of 2018, and 2 to the power of 2019. Since we know that the ones digit repeats every four number, so we know that it repeats again in this 505th group, which means 2, 2 to the power of 2017 must be a number that ends with 2, and the next number must be a number that ends with 4, and from here we know that 2 to the power of 2019 must be a number that ends with 8. So we can apply the same theory to all the rest of the power number. For example, in the earlier calculations, we need to find 3 to the power of 2020. So if I list out all the powers of 3, for example, 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 to the power of 2 is 9, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, and 3 to the power of 5, start from 3 to the power of 5, the ones digit will repeat because now we have 1 times 3. Then it will be a number ends with 3. And goes on 3 to the power of 6. Um, the This number must be a number end with 9 because the previous one's digit is 3. 3 times 3 will give us 9. And 3 to the power of 7 will be a number end with 7 because we have 9 times 3, 7. And 3 to the power of 8 must be a number end with 1 because 7 times 3 is 21. So you can see in this pattern, the one's digit again repeat for every four number three nine seven one three nine seven one so um in order to find three to the power of 2020 20, what i will do is we use 2020 20 divided by group of four so four times five twenty four times zero and four times five twenty in this calculation, we can see that there is no remainder, which means the last number, which is 3 to the power of 20, 20, 4 in the last group, 4 in 505th group, which is the last number in 505th groups. If I continue with this, 3 to the power of 20, 20 will be the last number in this 505 group. The previous number will be 3 to the power of 2019, 3 to the power of 2018, and 3 to the power of 2017. These are the numbers, power number in this 505 group. So from here we know that because the ones digit repeat for every four numbers, so we know that this 3971 repeats again in this 505 group. So 3971. So from here we know that we know that 3 to the power of 2020 20 is actually a very big number that ends with 1. So by using this concept to find the 1's digit of all the rest of the number, then from here we can um, let me put down the 1's digit in. So for 2 to the power of 2019, as I showed you earlier, we have a number that, a very big number that ends with 8. And for 3 to the power of 20, 20, we have a very big number that ends with 1. And as for 4 to the power of 20, 21, if you apply the same concept, you will be getting a very big number that ends with 4. And 5, no matter how many times you multiply, the 1 digit is always 5. It's always 5. And same goes to 6. It's always end with 6. And you apply the same concept to find a power of 7, you will have a very large number that end with 1 and as for 8 you have a big number end with 8 and as for 9 you have a big number end with 1 and as for 
multiples of 10, I mean power of 10, it is always mv0. So by finding um, the sum of all these one digit, the sum of all these one digit will give us the one digit of this very big number. And by adding all this number, we get 35. So it's a very large number that end with. So let me write down again. Okay, it is a very large number that ends with five. So that is the answer to these questions, where the question wants to find one digit in this big sum. Um, today we have learned that there is actually a looping pattern in a uh, power number. In mathematics, they are full of patterns such as this. And I hope you enjoy the video and learn uh, something new today. If you come across other pattern that you found interesting, do let me know in the comments down below. So thanks for watching. See you next time.